In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, the divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were, before even time began. You are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three person, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, the divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, the divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, in love and service. May we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them, most of all, for us, we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on Tuesday of the second week of Lent. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Ponsalan, SBD. Our celebration will now begin. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. The Pharisees do not practice what they preach. The Pharisees do what they do to attract the admiration and acknowledgement of other people. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel reading for today is a warning against hypocrisy and insincerity. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Guide your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy, 
and since without you mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show you the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to the disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you but do not follow their example because they preach but they do not practice they tie up heavy burdens that are hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders but they will not lift a finger in order to move them all their works are performed to be seen they widen their phylacteries they lengthen their tassels, they love places of honor at banquets and seats of honor in synagogues, 
greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have only one teacher. You are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have only one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. My dear friends in Christ, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They preach, but they do not practice. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. My dear brothers and sisters, the Pharisees and the scribes made religion an intolerable burden by making thousands upon thousands of rules and regulations, but they are mainly for advertisement. They are for show. According to them, more is better. But anything that is done in excess or anything that is done in an exaggerated manner of what is perceived to be normal is not at all inspiring. The Pharisees wanted to be given the principal places at meals and banquets. The Pharisees always wanted to occupy the front seats. The Pharisees wanted to be treated with this deep respect by others. The Pharisees loved to draw attention to themselves. The Pharisees were also overly strict, unreasonably meticulous, and very legalistic. Their kind of religion is almost describable as a religion of ostentation, a religion of display, a religion of flamboyant show, but any religion that produces ostentation in action and pride in the heart is a false religion. Whenever religion becomes a burden, whenever religion becomes a show or a display, it ceases to be an authentic religion. It ceases to be an authentic relationship with God. Why is this so? Because the whole design of a Christian is to obliterate oneself so that if people will see his good deeds, they will not glorify the person involved, but they will glorify God. That is why the Lord accuses the scribes and the Pharisees of hypocrisy, of insincerity. They are hypocrites. They are pretenders. They are actors. These are the people who put on an external show, but inwardly their thoughts and their feelings are far from God. Because a Pharisee may mislead others, a Pharisee is not a guide, but a barrier to the kingdom of God. That is why the Lord Warn the disciples, do everything and observe everything that they tell you, but do not follow their example. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a blunt indictment of hypocrisy. Do not imitate the callousness of these people, their lack of compassion, their disregard for justice. Do not follow 
their example. What is the best example that we can mention in our reflection? Remember the instance when the Lord washed the feet of the disciples. The washing of the feet means bending love in love. The washing of the feet is a gesture that the apostles would never forget because our Lord turned the idea of authority upside down. Authority is service. Authority is not about power. Authority is not about domination. It is not about control. That is why in another instance, the Lord said, As I have done, so you also should do. My dear brothers and sisters, I have many other things to say, but the seminarians will have their midterm exams today. I'd like to give them more time to study. Amen. All stand, please. Let us heed the admonition of the Lord who taught us to do His work humbly and without ostentation. The response will be, Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit. Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit. The church leaders may be totally dedicated to their noble calling to preach the gospel. We pray. Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit. That parents and teachers may accompany their teachings with witnessing and good examples. We pray. Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit. That we may always seek to do what is right. And may God's Word be a living power influencing our actions. We pray. Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit that we may look with love and compassion upon the sick, the old, and the lonely. We pray. Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to continue to develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone as soon as possible, so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus while those who are already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmissions we pray lord lead us in the way of your spirit that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of god we pray lord, lord lead us, us in the way of your spirit heavenly father deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. No. 
cup of joy. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of His Holy Church. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it may we be cleansed of early earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, 
our bishop. Remember your servants, Grace Aceron Rogelio, Darlene Madlambayan, Linda Ong, Miguel Makuha, Clarissa Avendaño, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Using the same words of the Lord, let us again pray the most beautiful prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and deliver our country and the Filipino people from other evils. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The Lord said, They preach, but they do not practice. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive him. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof. But, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that your presence in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the refreshment of the sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devoutness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from all the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Saint Arnold Jansen and Saint Joseph Pernadimets. mga pabatid, oras ng mga misa. Ang oras po ng ating mga misa sa Dambana ay ang mga sumusunod: Monday to Saturday, 6:30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sunday morning, 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m and 11.30 a.m. Afternoon, 4 p.m. at 6 p.m. Mangyaring dalhin po ang inyong vaccination cards. Ang schedule naman po ng ating pong pangungumpisal ay ang mga sumusunod. Saturday, 5 p.m. Sunday, 11 a.m. at 5 p.m. Ang istasyon ng Cruz ay ginaganap tuwing araw ng biyernes Alas 5 ng hapon. The Fast to Feed a Child, a Lenten fundraising campaign of the Hapag Asa Integrated Nutrition Program, whose aim is to help feed the hungry children, is calling for your support. Envelopes are available at the back. You may leave your envelopes at the collection boxes or drop them during the offertory. Thank you once again. God bless you all. Reverend Father Ronnie Cresostomo, SBD. Shrine Rector. Good morning to everybody. Father Louis Punsalan, SVD, assigned here at Christ the King Seminary. Um, this week is special to our seminarians because this week they are taking their midterm exams. So we wish them luck and uh, we pray for them so that they will all make good in their exams. I'd like also to take notice of the fact that more and more masses are now allowing people to come in and to be present in the church. Nakikiusap po ako sa mga tumutulong sa ating mga seminarista, sa mga nagpapadala ng kanilang napakahalagang tulong na wag naman ninyo silang kalilimutan. Wag naman ninyo silang pababayaan. Sapagkat 
pakonti ng pakonti yata ang sumisimba sa online at parami ng parami ang sumisimba at pumapasok ng simbahan. We hope and we pray that we will continue to support our seminarians in their studies. Until now and until whenever or forever, we need your help. All the more, we need your financial assistance and your prayers for the perseverance of these young men. They will be the future divine word missionaries to be assigned not only in the Philippines but in different parts of the world. Let us support them, let us help them, let us pray for them, and let us motivate them to persevere in their vocation to the priesthood and to the religious missionary life. And in this connection, I'd like to show our bank account details if you want to consider the idea of helping our seminarians. We are showing our bank account details on your screen, on television and in your computer, on your monitor. Our bank account details are the following, Banco de Oro, account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. The account number is 000-220-191247. At the same time, we are maintaining two GCash numbers and we are showing the same GCash numbers on your screen. 0967-318-9830 and 0945-743-0935 as well as our email address. Please continue to support our, our seminarians. Yesterday, I was happy to meet Christ the King Mission Seminary High School class of 1972. Most of them became priests, others chose other vocations and other professions in life. But I was happy to meet them. Class 19, I greet class 1972, High School of Christ the King that I met yesterday. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the, the, the people who are who are helping us i i will not i will not uh, mention the family names but very quickly just to mention the names alan maraming salamat and uh, stay strong dimson maria lourdes rosan susan norlaine marisa mr florencio georgette ray edward carol almi Karina, Froilan, Zara, Fides Fay, Maria Teresa, Jerna, Bleseda, Lourdes, and Henedina. I like also to thank the following names who are helping us support the seminarians: uh, Elin, Consuelo, Connie, Carlota, Elin, Emily, Connie again, another Connie, Heda, Lou, Jocelyn. Josie, Madeline, sa inyong lahat, tauspusong pasasalamat. We started introducing our seminarians by groups or by provinces or by places of origin. The last group of seminarians that we will introduce to the public today are the seminarians that are close to my heart because they come from the same home province. They are our seminarians from Mindoro. Some of them are from Oriental Mindoro, where I come from, and the others are from Occidental. Mindoro is divided into two provinces, Oriental and Occidental. So may I request the uh, Mindoro seminarians to come forward? Seminarians coming from Mindoro, please. Bilisan nyo, tayo may midterm. Oh, marami po yan. They are young and they are handsome. Buksan lahat ng ilaw. These are our seminarians from Mindoro. Young but energetic and committed. Let us give these young men a round of applause. Maraming salamat. You may go back to your seats, gentlemen. And finally, my last point. 
We are finalizing, we are organizing a Lenten online recollection for our donors, benefactors, sponsors, and friends of the seminarians. We will announce the details as soon as they are done. And the uh, online recollection will probably be on April 9, the Saturday before Palm Sunday. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer in honor of the Christ the King, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. The Lord said to me, You are my Son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask of me, and I shall banquet you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore him. Now, O kings, understand, take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with awe and trembling, pay him homage. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore him. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, it is your will to unite the entire universe. Under your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the King of heaven and earth, grant freedom to the whole of creation and let it praise and serve your majesty forever. We make your prayer through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Intercessions. Lord Jesus Christ, our King and Shepherd, gather your flock from every corner of the earth Protect in your fresh and fertile pastures of your word and sacraments. Jesus, our leader and savior, make all people your own. Heal the sick, seek out the lost, preserve the strong, bring back the strayed, reunite those who are scattered, and give new hope to the downhearted. Jesus, Prince of Peace, remove from the people's hearts the greed that leads to war, Speak words of peace to your people. Jesus, heir of all nations, bring all humankind to the kingdom of the Father. Move all peoples to acknowledge you as head in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, good shepherd, you lay down your life for your sheep. Guide us to make most of four opportunities for spreading your reign. Jesus, our Redeemer, you are the king of the entire universe. Restore all things to yourself by the power of your spirit. Jesus, king of all nations, you came into the world to bear witness to the truth. Make all peoples aware of your primacy in all things. Jesus, our master and model, you have brought us into your kingdom. Help us to give an example 
which is worthy of you. Jesus, firstborn of all creation, and first to be born from the dead, bring all the departed to the glory of your resurrection. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to our compassionate King. Let us pray. Father, Father all-powerful all God, God of love, you have raised our Lord Jesus Christ from death to life, resplendent in glory as King of creation. Open our hearts, free all the world to rejoice in his peace, to glory in his justice, to live in his love. Bring all humankind together in Jesus Christ, your Son, whose kingdom is with you and the, the Holy Spirit, one God, God forever and ever. And ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 